Hello, Grace Covenant Church. This is Pastor Warren, and I am excited to celebrate the Passover season with you as it leads into Easter. I love this time of the year. I love we talk about the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ. It is the core of our faith, the foundation of our faith, and we get to celebrate it together one more time. I'm excited, and I hope you are too. We're going to pray and fast this week, and, uh, and I'm going to lead in the devotion that will give us some points to pray for as we pray and fast together. But before that, I want to talk about the devotional period. Mark 11, Jesus and his disciples are heading toward Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover, and they see this tree that looks really good from a distance. And I'm sure that they're hungry from their journey, and he sees this tree, and I'm sure they're anticipating uh, eating from it. And when he gets there, there's no fruit on it at all. And Jesus curses the tree and says, may no one eat from you ever again. And uh, because Jesus had an expectation, you know, he created the tree. And there was an expectation, even though uh, Mark says that in that at that moment, it wasn't full season of harvest uh, for the tree to be in full blossom. But still, he had an expectation that there should be some sign of life, some sign of fruit somewhere on this tree. So he cursed it. Later on, they get to the temple and Luke 19, I'll read it for you, verses 45 through 46, says, Then he, meaning Jesus, went into the temple and, be, and began driving them out who bought and sold in it, saying, It is written. Whenever the Bible says it is written, that means God said it and that settles it and we should believe it. He said, My house will be a house of prayer, but you have turned it into a den of thieves. My friends, Jesus is serious about bearing fruit. Bearing fruit is the essence, is the, is the essence, is the evidence of us getting closer to God, closer to Christ, closer to the Holy Spirit, learning from all three at the same time, following God's instructions, applying it to our lives. And as a result, we get to bear the fruit of righteousness, of holiness, of godliness, godly character. And we get to give God glory. And so does those who watch us. So there's an expectation. Jesus had an expectation for the tree that it would bear fruit. But he also had an expectation for those in the temple that they would be bearing fruit. But they were doing everything in the temple but praying and worshiping to God. You ever been to a mall? And what do you see in the mall? You see people buying and selling, exchanging money back and forth. That's what the house of God was like at that time when Jesus visited the temple. He was irate. He was upset and he chased them out. I don't know if he had a whip. I don't know if he had a belt, but they were running for their lives. And he turned over the tables, flipped the tables, opened up the gates for the... It was selling doves and pigeons and cattle and he just lit, he, he cleaned house because he had an expectation. And I pray that God's expectation will be met when he comes to Grace Covenant Church. And I want to highlight three points where his expectation can be met. Number one, that we pray that our heart will be cleansed by God and that our church will be a house of prayer. Number two. That we pray that our faith and prayer life increase so that we can intercede for our city, our community, our family, and individuals we come across. And lastly, that Grace Covenant Church will bear fruit as a result of our prayer and devotion, closeness and oneness with God. Would you pray with us? Like Jesus told Peter, the next day the tree withered. And what did he say to Peter? Have faith in God. Let us have faith in God and believe that through our relationship with him, we can bear fruit. God bless you.